are listening to the Art of Homeschooling podcast, where we help parents cultivate creativity and connection at home. I'm your host, Jean Miller, and here on this podcast, you'll find stories and inspiration to bring you the confidence you need to make homeschooling work for your family. Let's begin. Time to get cozy. It's early December as I'm recording this episode, and today we're diving into the idea of HUGA homeschooling. Not sure what HUGA means? You're not alone. The first time I heard the word HUGA, which is spelled H Y G G E and pronounced HUGA, was a few years back when our daughter was in Copenhagen for a fall semester. In college, she told me about this concept and I got a book on it to read while I cozied up on our couch with our kitty cat named Emma. Today, I invite you to listen in as we focus on creating a nurturing homeschooling environment that fosters warmth, connection, and joy in learning. So, Huga is a Danish concept that embodies a feeling of coziness, contentment, and togetherness. It's about embracing simplicity and finding comfort in small moments, especially during the winter months. I looked up at the definition of Huga, and here is what I found. Huga is, quote, a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being, and it's regarded as a defining characteristic of Danish culture. To me, this is the perfect pairing with homeschooling, especially in the wintertime. Why not follow the Danish example and bring more Huga into our lives. Let's embrace Huga homeschooling together as a family this holiday season. One reason you might want to learn more about Huga is if your family needs a break from the busyness, or you have this feeling of trying to keep up with all the regular to dos with the holiday season layered on top of that. So often I recommend to homeschooling families that they follow a simpler lesson rhythm in the month of December through the holiday season. One that I like to call handwork plus stories, a super simple structure. If you want to hear more about that rhythm, check out last week's podcast episode, Radical Tips for Homeschooling in December. I'll be sure to put a link to it in the show notes. Do you want a more relaxing winter and holiday season? Could your family benefit from slowing down and reconnecting? If so, listen on. So let's explore three essential elements of Huga homeschooling. Creating a cozy atmosphere, fostering a creative curriculum, and embracing flexibility and mindfulness. Starting with the first element, a cozy atmosphere is fundamental to Huga homeschooling. It's about creating a space that invites warmth and comfort. Create cozy learning spaces throughout your home. Picture this, soft blankets, dimmed warm lighting, and comfortable seating arrangements. You might even involve your kids in setting up this space to make it inviting and snug for everyone involved. In our house, we had lots of little reading corners with beanbag chairs or floor pillows. And now that I have an understanding of this concept of Huga, I could have made those spaces even more cozy. Also, think about foods and other rituals that you might include. One delightful recipe that can infuse warmth into your homeschooling is a classic hot chocolate with a twist. Try making a homemade hot cocoa and add in a few drops of peppermint oil and maybe even a dollop of whipped cream. 
It's a comforting treat, perfect for those chilly winter days, because it's really all about enjoying life together in a cozy way. Moving on to fostering a creative curriculum. The HUGA approach encourages exploration and imagination. So infuse your activities with creativity, joy, and togetherness. Engage in hands-on projects. That's the perfect activity. Using natural materials and storytelling. Picture storytelling around a fireplace, around the hearth. You can incorporate literature that celebrates the season or festivals close to your heart. A wonderful winter craft that embodies this creativity is making a DIY snow globe. Have you ever tried this? So gather glass jars, fill them with water and glycerin, which can help make the glitter float more slowly through the water. Then add small winter themed figurines or glitter to create your personalized snow globe. Snow globes are also just so fun. You can bring winter indoors in a mesmerizing way. One simple way to do this is just by using old baby food jars, but any jar will do. This is really all about enjoying experiences with your children to foster a warm connection on your learning journey. Lastly, Embrace flexibility and mindfulness in your HUGA homeschooling experience. Try a slower pace during winter months and allow for flexibility in the schedule. This is really about opening up space in your daily rhythm. You want to encourage mindfulness activities, take spontaneous breaks to appreciate nature, and allow room for unplanned learning moments. A beautiful ritual could be creating a candlelit reading hour. As a family, pick a winter-themed book, gather around, light some candles, or even a fire in the fireplace, and take turns reading aloud. This ritual encourages mindfulness as the soft glow of candlelight fosters a sense of calm and presence, allowing everyone to immerse themselves in the story and in the moment. The holiday season is really the perfect time to take a break from your usual lesson rhythm to focus on HUGA homeschooling instead. So what do you think? Could the HUGA approach serve you right now? Do you want to try it? Remember that HUGA homeschooling is about cherishing the moments of togetherness, warmth, and comfort during the holiday season. And you can get the academics in as well. Just remember, they can be delivered more slowly and with a little more magic. This is a time to focus on connection rather than perfection. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. You can follow us on social media and comment on our posts there. And be sure to check out the show notes for some Hula resources for you. Just go to artofhomeschooling.com slash episode 161. Until next time, stay warm, stay cozy, and stay mindful. That's all for today, my friend. But here's what I want you to remember. Rather than perfection, let's focus on connection. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll see you on the next episode of the Art of Homeschooling podcast. Mm